Hi, actors. It's Wendy Lane Wright, the Hollywood talent manager in sunny Los Angeles, California. And I just watched a really amazing series of videos from a casting director who's been in the business for about 30 years. And he said some interesting things that I thought I would just share with you guys. One of the things he said was that when you go into an audition room and you're looking at it from the casting director's point of view, he's sitting in a chair looking at people come in and they come in and they do the scene exactly the same way every single time. Like they're saying the same words. Let me back up. When you walk into the audition room, there's about 30, 40 other people who look exactly like you. Same height, same weight, same type, same hair, same, you know, same type. Then you each go into the audition room and you say the exact same words. You've all memorized the exact same thing. So it can look like the same thing over and over and over and over. Makes sense, right? Now, what if you're a casting director watching that and you're seeing same, 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 and then all of a sudden somebody does something completely different. Something that is not in the text. Something that is not suggested by the words. Something just so different. He, and I don't suggest this particular move, but this is something he said. The actor came in and sat with his back to the camera. <laughs> and he started doing the lines, and then he would look over his shoulder, and he would say something to the casting director, and then, and then he would turn halfway to the casting director and, and have the conversation, and then he turned around or whatever. And it was just so different than the 30 people had gone, the 100 people had gone, the 200 people he'd seen, that he remembered the guy. And not to say whether he got the part or not, but that he remembered him. Which is interesting, because he didn't remember the other hundreds of people, but he remembered him. So he said you should always try to find something to do in an audition that you're scared of. One thing in every single audition that you're afraid of, that scares you. Something that just gets you out of your comfort zone. And you should try to find things in the material while you're preparing that are unexpected, that you bring twists to it, something that's only uniquely your vision to it. He also said some other things that was interesting. Um, he said that sometimes he's seen, the best performances he's ever seen in his entire life, in 30 years in casting, was not on the big screen or the little screen. It was in the audition room. The best performances he's ever seen in his life were in the audition room. They were the people that did not get cast in the role. He says, but he remembers those people and he brings them back again and again because he loves them. He loves their work and what they did was memorable. He also said when you're preparing for your character, like say you get the sides, everyone usually rushes right to the lines and starts learning the lines. He says, don't do that. He says, start developing the character first. Figure out how the character walks. Develop your character from the ground up. How does he dress? How does he walk? How does he feel? How does he think? All the things about the character. And then learn the lines. Because when you walk into the audition room, once you've developed a character first, you'll walk in as the character. What actors typically do, he says, the mistake they do is they learn the lines first. And then they say, okay, now what does this character do? What does this person do? What is the behavior of this person? They first they learn the lines and then they try to figure out who the person is. He says, do it the other way around. Become the character. Figure out who the character is first. Be the character. And then learn the lines. And then you walk in the room as the character who's saying the lines. Totally different than just saying the lines and trying to figure out who the character is. So I just love this guy. Um, I think he's really interesting. I'm going to try to find your, his name for you. It's, uh, bear with, bear with me. Greg Apps, A-P-P-S, Greg Apps. Google him. You can find him on IMDb Pro. He's got this really amazing, um, you know, check out my website, Secrets of a Hollywood Talent Manager, if you want more information about him. You can find it on the Showbiz Corner section of my website, Secrets of a Hollywood Talent Manager. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.